welcome to another beautiful day here in Cruden Bay in Aberdeenshire. Look at the weather, it's absolutely glorious. There's still snow on the ground. We're going somewhere today that I've always wanted to go. You might know about a Scottish beer called Brewdog. Well, the main brewery is here in the local region, Aberdeenshire, and we have got an invite to go and do a kind of brewery tour. Not cool. Slightly come off the road. Not sure if I'm getting out of that. Too much of a hurry. In a drift. You did pull the handbrake up, yeah? Hey guys, I kind of blanked out the last few minutes, but uh. As you can see, I'm back on the road. Basically, some local, some really, really nice local guys stopped their car and gave me a push, and it took four of them. Hopefully, the car's not damaged. It doesn't look damaged, but basically, the car was just wedged into a really deep pile of snow. I think I just need to be a bit careful because these roads are icy, and I just got, in a, I just got caught in a really bad corner, and I'm lucky that I didn't go further off the road into a bush. So I was lucky, but anyway, I'm not gonna let that ruin the day. It's actually only 10 years old. It's crazy to think how far they've come in that time. They're now exporting around the world. And here in the headquarters, everybody brings their dogs to work. That is amazing. I'd love to bring my dog to work. We've just come into the main brewery room and it really smells of barley and beer and whatever. Hops. Wow. Awesome. I love that smell. Uh, we'll kind of start with one of our base ingredients. Uh, when you're making a beer, you're just going to start with water and malt. Um, and so we get all of our malted barley, or we get most of it just locally here in the UK. Um, it's actually really cool. A lot of other countries will purchase their barley from the UK because it's known for being some of the best in the world for making beer. And we're just lucky enough to have it right here. So to give you an idea, this is actually a medium roasted caramel malt. Uh, this would be a pale malt thrown in the kiln with a lot of moisture. So you get a little bit of sweetness in there and a little toastiness as well. Um, I'll give you just a bit to taste. It's actually quite nice. It almost has a little like bit of like, a raisin taste to it as well. It tastes like Maltesers. Yeah, exactly. So we're just kind of walking around the, the main part of the brewery now, finding out about how they make it and where they make it and what temperatures everything happens at. It's quite interesting. It's a big, big place. And this all came from private backers through Equity Punks. Crowdfunding. The biggest crowdfunding platform in the world, apparently. Very cool. This is a mixer they use to make the Punk IPA, which is one of the most popular ones. One of the ones I like most as well. Each of these hold 180,000 liters. So to put that in some sort of perspective, there's a little over 300,000 pints or over half a million bottles in each of these. <laughs> and there's 20 of them up here now. Well. So. Jan's our quality lab manager and he always jokes about how our tasting panel is trained like dogs. Um, just because they have to be able to identify so many different flavors in those beers. Yeah, so this one is our 5 a.m. stain. Mm. For me, when I smell it, it's kind of like red fruits, and then it's a little caramely when you taste it, and then it finishes bitter. Sydney, our tour guide said the employees get a beer allowance to work here. And here is like the beer allowance corner. 
That's amazing. Beer allowance to work here. Like, I think this would be the perfect place to work. Oh, wow. Look at this. What? Lone wolf. Look at this big copper thing. That is amazing. Uh, from 60%. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, that's it. That was a brewery tour. I think we're going back to the main bar now. Really interesting. Like, it's kind of definite source of pride to be Scottish. And they send this beer around the world. Like, even when we went to Brazil, there's a brew dog bar there. And it all comes from right here in Ellen, in the northeast of Scotland. It's amazing. Really cool. It's just awesome beer. That's why I like it. They make really, really good beer. This is the squirrel that we're talking about in the tour. That they made out the bottles with. Brilliant. Roadkill. Roadkill in Scotland. Turned into a beer bottle. Superb. It's a piece of Scotland though. Huh? Had our dinner, that was so good. We're back in the room now. I'm gonna crash out now because it's been a long day. It's been a good day. I had such a good meal there. It was a uh, Aberdeen Angus fillet steak. We will see what is in store for tomorrow, but another day of adventure. Should be good fun. Take it easy, I'll see you then. <laughs> <laughs>